is not turning on? Sit comfortably, or fasten your seat belt. Your choice. Option 1. Press the power button, and hold it for 10 seconds, then let it go. Yes, I know it's not exactly like your laptop, but it doesn't necessarily have to be, to understand what you have to do next. If you don't understand this tutorial, which by the way, is made for beginners, then send this video to a friend, who can do these things, it's not a problem if for some reason you can't do it. For the lucky ones, if it opens and then restarts, or a blue screen of death or a black screen appears, I'm done here, you have to follow the instructions, from another video that we have it. I added that video up here, so you can watch it, and fix those issues. Now, for those who do not open at all, still black screen with nothing else, we continue. But don't be discouraged, because we still have solutions. It is necessary to clean the laptop if it starts for a few seconds and stops without being able to intervene. From now on, we will only use the methods if the laptop doesn't let us to set anything on it. We can't even enter the BIOS, right? Because if we can enter the BIOS, Reset it and it is possible that the problem will be solved. We enter the BIOS and look down, for the default option. It is usually the F9 key. So, we locate it. Then press it. Then choose yes. I will also show you other BIOS models, because yes, every laptop has a customized BIOS, but in essence it does the same thing, and the buttons should match. If we do not find it, or the F9 key does not work, then we go to the top menu, and then find exit. There, we will find default settings, or optimized settings. If the laptop now will starting up, to safe mode, as we showed you earlier, watch the video I recommended for the situation, turn the laptop over, and unscrew all the screws. Unfortunately, we have to disassemble the laptop to a certain point. So, you need a screwdriver, and a plastic or wooden object that is sharp. Then use your nails or we can also use a car that is expired. Be very careful because you can cut yourself, when you sharpen the edge of the car, right? There would be another method, ask your wife or girlfriend, or your mother, to give you a tool that she uses on her nails for manicure? Here is room for inventiveness. We found these chopsticks perfectly sharp. If you don't succeed, search on YouTube like this, disassembly, and your laptop model. Watch exactly how to disassembly. Now let's assume that we have the laptop open and we get down to business, right? Next step, option 3. Locate the RAM memory module. With the tip of your fingers, press outwards, and the RAM will jump out of its socket. Take it out for 60 seconds. Then put it back in place. 
try now to see if it will start. Wow, worked. Very good. Oh no, it did not work. We can still do something, don't lose hope. Continue. Next step, option 4. We remove the RAM again, but this time, don't put it back in place. Now, we press the power button, and the laptop starts with it removed. There will be beeps and nothing on the screen, leave it for 10 seconds. Now, press and hold the power button, for 6 seconds. Release it, and put the RAM back in place, and try again. Wow, worked. Very good. Oh no, it did not work. We can still do something, don't lose hope. Continue. Next step, option 5. We have to empty the residual electricity. The simplest, would be to remove the battery without opening the laptop. I don't think this is possible, but still I feel obliged to tell you. We have to remove the communication plug, between the battery, and the motherboard. How do we identify it? Simple, we follow the cable, and it will lead us to the connection. We remove the plug with the cable, for at least 120 seconds. Press and keep power button pressed, for 10 seconds. With the battery disconnected. In this way, we will empty the residual electricity. We will put everything into place, that means to put the plug back from the battery, to the motherboard, and try again. The fan does not turn on, and no LED lights up, then the motherboard of this laptop, is defective. But wait, I think there would be another option that I know to try. Next step, option 6. If it starts but the screen doesn't light up, then you have to try it, on a monitor or TV, with VGA. If it works normally on the monitor, then we will not rush to draw the conclusion, that the display is defective yet. HDMI cable.
not before checking the connection, from the motherboard, to the display. How do we identify it? Very simple, we follow the cable coming from the display, to the motherboard, and remove the plug. It will be the best, if you can clean with alcohol and then, put everything back. If it still doesn't work, then yes, we can consider changing the display. These are the options, that you can make at home with minimal knowledge of electronics. I hope that I helped you, because I shared my knowledge. If one of the methods helped you, please, let us know in the comments. By the way. I would be happy if you subscribed to this channel. I wish you success. Bye.